My name's Jeff Kinney, and I'm the author of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, and I'm going to read to you from the first few pages of my first book. First of all, let me get something straight. This is a journal, not a diary. I know what it says on the cover, but when Mom went out to buy this thing, I specifically told her to get one that didn't say diary on it. Great. All I need is for some jerk to catch me carrying this book around and get the wrong idea. Here we have a bully punching Greg. The other thing I want to clear up right away is that this was Mom's idea, not mine. But if she thinks I'm going to write down my feelings in here or whatever, she's crazy. So just don't expect me to be all dear diary this and dear diary that. The only reason I agreed to do this at all is because I figure later on when I'm rich and famous, I'll have better things to do than answer people's stupid questions all day long. So this book is going to come in handy. We have a picture where there's a bunch of reporters. Gregory, tell us about your childhood. Were you always so smart and handsome? And Greg from his podium hands down his book, says, here's my journal. Now shoo, shoo. Like I said, I'll be famous one day, but for now, I'm stuck in middle school with a bunch of morons. Let me just say for the record that I think middle school is the dumbest idea ever invented. You got kids like me who haven't hit their growth spurt yet, mixed in with these gorillas who need to shave twice a day. And then they wonder why bullying is such a big problem in middle school. If it was up to me, grade levels would be based on height, not age. But then again, I guess I would mean kids like Sharad Gupta would still be in the first grade. We have a very tiny friend of Greg's. Today is the first day of school, and right now we're just waiting around for the teacher to hurry up and finish the seating chart. So I figure I might as well write in this book to pass the time. By the way, let me give you some good advice. On the first day of school, you got to be real careful where you sit. You walk into the classroom and just plunk your stuff down on any old desk, and the next thing you know, the teacher is saying, I hope you all like where you're sitting because these are your permanent seats. And Greg is seated between two particularly goofy-looking kids and screams. So in this class, I got stuck with Chris Hosey in front of me and Lionel James in back of me. Jason Brill came in late and almost sat to my right, but luckily I stopped that from happening at the last second. So this kid says, is this seat taken? And Greg says, yes, yes. Next period, I think I should just sit in the middle of a bunch of hot girls as soon as I step in the room. But I guess if I do that, it just proves I didn't learn anything from last year. Here's Greg from last year. He sits between two girls. And this girl says, Greg, will you pass this note to Shelly? And Greg says, why, certainly. <laughs> and the note says, Greg is a dork. <laughs>